Hi, welcome to Texas Lone Wolf Channel, your source for Red Pill Truth. Today's topic is the price and the effects of divorce for many reasons not described. Maybe the woman looked at a man, oh, I'm tired of you. I want to go and live my life. I want to go and do my thing. I hope you'll be around for me to, you know, get right back and get remarried again if I get serious again. But most men are typically one strike you're out kind of people. All right? So... With this being said, now, we're going to cover this topic, because you need to hear this. So, anyways... Now, this one woman, I mean, okay, I'm in, I'm in Cora, which is part of Facebook, all right? Facebook by Cora side out. It's another social media, but it's under its own name, but it's governed by Meta, all right? So we're going to go ahead and discuss this, all right? So we're going to go ahead and take that down. Now let's let's discuss this. I regret divorcing my first husband. I married him three weeks after I turned twenty two. I blame my immaturity, lack of experience, reasoning for one reason for leaving. The man treated me wonderful. I was young, foolish, immature. I thought there's grass was green on the other side. It wasn't. It was burnt and fried. Karma repaid to the ex-wife most 20 plus years since she left him. She's no longer young, naive, nor she's not as immature and shallow as she was then. She, she, she also, if she said she could turn back time, she would have never left him. She told me that I would regret it, and I do. So... Some of the commenters on on this now your story is off more than like the case. I met a lot of people who regret their divorce. If they could undo the area in their life, but most never admit it openly as you have. I applaud your courage. So And someone said, cheaters always think grass is greener. If you want to get the greenest grass in your yard, water your own yard. Take care of your own yard. So, so Carol Dudek on... Um, so the problem is today we live in a godless society where people don't respect their marriage vows anymore. I'm done with cheaters and liars. And 50 of the stupid, selfish, adulterous males regret their divorce. According to the uh, CDC statistics, majority of divorces were filed by women. Did you know that? So, someone else came back and said 50% of stupid, selfish, adulterous males regret their divorce. And the other 50% are stupid, selfish, adulterous females that regretted their divorce or regret. 
So. Anyways. It's terrible. Most people file for divorce for a variety of reasons. Not working out. I'm bored. No. See? You don't want people to treat you like you're an option. It's either you are the chosen one or let you go. Also, you drag your feet in divorce court. It gets nasty, ugly, costly. The three people are making money and running to the bank with it, laughing their backsides off, while the former husband and former wife suffer in pain and anguish. Maybe not right now. But turn around, karma has a way of repaying the person who filed for divorce. Karma has a way. Well, actually, yes, karma does pay back. There's another term for karma that we can use. Father time. Father time is a ruthless per, uh, person that you cannot, you can't find it. And anyways, so, um, So, anyways, this guy right here, Manning, divorced his first wife, married the second one. They have a nice marriage. See, it's built on trust. It's built on honesty, trust, teamwork, so to speak. Schools are teaching kids that... Marriage is a competi competition between a husband and a wife. They have to compete against each other. Really? That and I and and it dawned on me over thirty years ago when I graduated school or thirty two, thirty three years ago, a teacher told me a husband and wife got to be competing in a marriage. The same teacher that told me that is now divorced. Father Tom paid her a visit. Her voice is different. She's not um, feminine. She's masculine. Her hair is all gray. She's got crow's feet. Saggy skin. You know, chin. You know, that little that overhanging her Underneath her neck. Oh yeah. Father Tom will. Pay you a visit. When you're not even looking. So I'm telling you. Divorce itself is costly. And it comes with pain, anguish, mental torture, psychological torture. What you used to be when you were married, now you're a former shell of yourself. You're at the heel. So, this topic is a product of no-fault divorce that was passed in the United States back in the 60s. Then it became easier for women to file for divorce for any reason they can find. 
Uh, we're not compatible together. You're not fun. I want a divorce. She files the paperwork. The person who does the serving visits the uh, soon-to-be ex-husband. He gets served. Out of the blue. Yes, out of the blue. And oftentimes... I'm going to let you know that um, I'm going to let you know this. Did you know um, I'm going to read this story by Thomas Daly. My ex after spending and losing received now lodges with our son. She lives with the son. Son told me, Mom said we were bored after 22 years, wanted fun and excitement. And I was boring. See, she filed for divorce. She'd been a, a looker, a gambler, thinks she can dump me, receive nearly 70% of the assets, have fun, attract another earner like me after a few years. The plan never worked out. Do you know what happened to her? She went over the hill. She'd gone off the rails. She'd gone off the rails. Partying, drinking, smoking. Done a number on her looks. Father Time came. It's time to pay up. I'm going to give you flaw this, flaw that, flaw the other. Oh, I'm going to change your voice. Oh, I'm giving you gray hair. I'm going to take your looks. I'm turning your glow off. Your, your, your skin is glowing. He turns it off. Father Tom is really rough with people who party and party and party. And anyways, this is very heartbreaking. I told my son's mother her first marriage failed because she cheated on me once. I took her back. She made me choose. It's either her escapades or divorce. Soon it become the spirit of the heart was broken. It broken it were then my choice. He said that. And, but let's don't stop there. So, I read a comment that women are born rich and die poor. Men are born poor and die rich. Go ahead and get into denial if you want to. Father Time is not going to spare anybody. He's going he's going to refine both. He's going to test men and women alike. Father Time you go, all right, man, I'm going to uh, put you in a furnace and get all these negative stuff out of your life, and I'm going to purify you. And to the woman, you're going to say, well, I'm taking your flaws. I'm taking your looks. I'm giving you flaw this, flaw that. I'm giving you weight gain. I'm giving you masculine voice. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Take a look at J-Lo. She had been married, divorced so many times I can't count. She got married to some celebrity, sold his motorcycle collection, then divorced him.
now she's over the hill. She's 52, 53 years old. To the men out there, out there listening, would you marry her? I was hoping you would say no. And uh, DTO5 said, uh, this sounds like my story. Exactly. I did the same and regretted it for 25 years now. It still consumes my thoughts. So, that happens. So, I'm telling you, you'll file for divorce because it's boring. Then Father Tom slaps you upside your head with reality check. He don't spare no one. He spares nobody. Okay, and um there's a Author of a book who wrote a book, a, you know, about a friction in marriage started when she thought the grass was greener on the other side. She turned abusive and turned into a boss B to get rid of the husband. And finally, he had to file for divorce. That was the first time I heard about a man filing for divorce. Then she came back crying and persuaded him to call off the divorce. I thought she was genuine and honest, but it was opposite. She had a plan... She had a plan to get in my life again and destroy me completely. I filed again, went on my way and made my life better. As of today, I'm retired, living in my own house, two pensions, son deported. Da uh, son was deported, daughter abandoned her. She's wheelchair bound all alone. She never worked in her life chasing after her imaginary goal. She had the spirit of Jezebel in her. Or Lilith. That's not a very good that's not a very good thing to have. And let me tell you something. When a woman files for divorce because of stupid reasons. They wind up regretting this. So, so many women here trash their ex husband if you take responsibility for the demise of the marriage. It's all on him. No doubt, some indeed blameless, but they're usually false. On both sides. Both of the names they use against each their ex as a true behaviors and character. It must have been apparent before the marriage. I realize some put on good acts, some expectations of life after wedding are unrealistic. I believe the reverse is also true, but not out of the question. So, so anyways, my wife regret divorcing me. She felt things weren't right and asked for a divorce after 15 years and two wonderful children. We tried counseling, but no avail. After the divorce, we saw other people. Six months later, she married the first man and asked her and had to very uncomfortable, 12 months. She divorced him and shyly hesitated to ask me if I wanted to try again. Luckily for both of us, I was available. We have been madly in love for 60 years and married for most of them. We ignored in the hiatus of the count. So, 
this guy got a divorce, got remarried again. They've been married for 60 years. So what gives? What gives? See, she just felt things weren't right and asked for a divorce. See, she's, she's acting out in emotions. Women, if you act out in emotions, you're going to destroy everything in your wake, in your path. I'm telling you, it's very costly. Look at this. Uh, Manisha Roches. So I'm going to go ahead and read this. An interesting question. I'll answer this by telling the story of a friend of mine who got divorced twice. She had unrealistic expectations from both of her then husbands. Let me tell a little bit about this woman. She does not realize how much of an influence her mother and her cousin have over. You see, peer pressure. Let me repeat that. Peer pressure can influence you. Type of so-called friends you have around will influence you. All right. They're the ones, I believe, who are responsible for her divorces. But she fails to see this. I'll explain. Okay, this woman married her first husband when she was in her mid-20s. Soon after marriage, her husband moved to another town and started working. Income was low. He encouraged her to work. I met a few times. He seemed to be a great guy. But the woman refused to work despite being well-qualified and capable. She wanted the guy to do all the work so he could burn out. Her desires were beyond earning capacity of her husband. Okay. With time, they started quarreling within a few years they separated. The man agreed to buy a piece by giving her a huge alimony. Almost seven years later, the woman got married again. This time she chose to marry a man whose income was limited. Limited to run their life smoothly if she cooperated, but she didn't. Within weeks, she, she lied to her family, said her mom and in law wanted to throw her out of the home. I know she lied because she, she herself told me that. Women would never lie, tell you the truth if it bit them in the backside. And she, uh, let's see, um, said she did so at her, per advice of her cousin and her, the mother. She wanted her husband to stay away from family over a period of time. She wanted to convince him that she's right. That is Family is bad toward her. So here it is. You ready to see, hear the rest of this? We're fixing to get we're fixing to get into the story. All right. I warned her that she's wrong, that she would lose her husband's trust. She didn't listen to me and continue to make false accusations. Trouble with the Indian family law is believe that a woman is always right. I'm sorry, women are never right. They'll lie and cheat and steal just like men will. And the result is the man had to do all he can to save his family from public humiliation, show kindness to the bad woman. That's what her husband also did. She forced her husband to leave his aged mother alone, live separately with, with her. Even after that, she continued to harass her husband, did all she can to prevent him from meeting his family. And the crisis happened to be lucky for him. Sad to say this, because the pandemic cost the world a lot. He had severe infection. He was in ICU for many days, barely managed to survive. But when he recovered, 
He never returned to his wife. It was ironic. COVID became a blessing in disguise for him. And he filed for separation, and then divorce formalities were completed earlier that year, this year. The woman I talk about now regrets getting divorced because now she believes she lost a good man. She refused to believe me when I told her it was her own mother and cousin who had an all ill of eyes her through the divorces. Now she's 43, no chance of finding another loving man. And the guy that wanted to warn her decided to maintain his distance from her, who was, again, one time best friend. She's 43. Game over. Her eggs are gone. She can't have children. She listened to a mother and a cousin. Took bad advice. Manipulated the law. Pretty soon in India, they're fixing to gut the feminist laws over there. Soon. So, anyways, let me tell y'all something. Getting a divorce, it's not a good thing. Now, a child from the Vietnam War that was, you know, conceived during the Vietnam conflict, my father was a good man. He was drafted in the army during Vietnam. They sent the wrong guy home. This one was a violent drunk. After a couple of short years, my mother decided it was time to end the marriage. She filed for divorce. She moved out. My father went on the bench and finally sobered, sobered up in jail cell a week later. He was at the lowest point in his life when the county sheriff told him he would be charged with DUI, assault on peace officer, police officer, and a range of other offenses promise to keep him locked up for a long time to come. The day that he gave, she gave him the choice to face a judge who is tired of his of his company to go to local VA facilities not to come out till they released him. Uh, the sheriff promised to keep the arrest warrant active until he's released. My father became a changed man until his death. He never drank again, visited us every weekend. Paid the agreed amount in child support until I was 18. Continued to help his kids till he passed. He took a dirt nap. My mother regretted the divorce until the day she passed. She made a snap decision that cost her the very end. She found herself living on 900 a month Social Security and public housing while the money she would have entitled for my father's Social Security was gone. Just because you don't live together don't mean you need to be divorced. You see, that right there, has she not filed for divorce when her husband went to Vietnam to participate in tour duty? She would have got more money. She would have got survivor's benefits. Women, if you go thinking with your emotions, you are going to lose. You're going to lose. Father Time is going to slap you with the reality check that you'll never see coming. And look at this. 900 a month Social Security and public housing. Medicare, Medicaid. Then she passed away. I, I, feel, I feel really bad because that no-fault divorces destroyed many families. So, my thing to you is, so I'm going to tell you this right now, divorce is easy for a woman to file.
So I'm telling you the truth because uh, people will not understand the ramifications that divorce has on everybody that it touches. I'm telling you. Look at this. So, I knew a woman who had divorced her husband and then they remarried a years later. So, I guess she regretted divorcing him. She couldn't find anything better, figure it was better to have them to have nothing. You're lucky if, she, if, if the ex husband took you back. We came to the world bald, drooling, incontinent. We can live long enough, we'll leave the same way. Hey, that right there is the truth. 6% of the couples get divorced, end up remarrying. So I guess 6% do regret it. So, I'm telling you, there's no answer. Marriage is a teamwork effort. Did you know that? Anyways, I'm telling you, Some people don't even know how to take the time to get to know the person. It's better to date for about six months till you get to warm up and get to know the person. Minimum six months. So I'm just going to tell you that it's not very pleasant. Here, this is a gold digger divorce. I divorced her because she was obsessed with money spending on credit store cards, not paying them off. She didn't want me. She wanted a rich man. She told me she was so disappointed that I earned want more successful in life. She would avoid me, not sleep with me. She insists our youngest son share her bed, at least he's 15. As far as I know, that's still happening. I regret leaving my children, but despise her ways. This is coming from a Brit British man, from a UK man. And she found a rich man, but he recently left her. I don't really regret... Uh, he said he don't regret divorcing her, but he regret getting married to her, though. <clears throat> Test the waters first before you tie the knot. Here's Anonymous. Anonymous posted this. I don't know who Anonymous is. My biggest regret is doing it in, in the first place. He wasn't a bad guy. We literally didn't have much of a connection. Again, body with two heads. There were definitely things about it I didn't really like, but we did have three small children and a lot of money. Was it financial? Ten years later, we're getting along okay. But it's been a very long road to get there. Although I'm financially sound. So this is a wife, ex, this is a, either wife or ex-wife frightness. Okay, 
It's nothing compared to the financial situation my kids and I would have been in. Relationship with family was okay, but it never will be the same. Family events with extended family is awkward. The fact that he is alone now does have a strong relationship with our kids make me feel terribly guilty. I made a promise that I broke, and probably not for the good or enough reason. I felt like I robbed my kids of an intact family and a better companionship with their father. It's difficult for a working man to spend a lot of time with his kids. Therefore, his relationship suffered. He didn't make some choices of spending time with women instead of his kids over the years, but that was his own doing. But I still feel incredibly responsible for his life today. I am remarried, and this marriage has its own sets of problems, different problems nonetheless. It is also hard to have a step-parent in the house. I found out I'm in the middle between my husband and my teenage kids. If I could reverse the hands of time, I probably would. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I'm always in the middle between the husband and the kids. The mom's in the middle. You divorced the first guy that tried to make it work. You know what I mean? And you have a step parent in the house who wants total control. And then you got teenage kids. That's disaster. So, I probably would. Life good. I am glad my ex and I are working together finally for the sake of our kids. But it's bitterness, bitterness, bitterness towards me over the years kept that from happening. My best advice to anyone considering divorce is to think real hard about it. The grass does not seem to be greener on the other side. Most of the time it has weeds and bugs you will discover it's too late. If you can stay and find the good in your spouse, do it. I think that was the best piece of advice right there that she gave. Anonymous wrote this. She wrote it seven years ago. Seven long years ago. I'm telling you all what, folks. You know, young women, they get married young. Oh, I'm not happy. I want a divorce. They act out in emotions without thinking things through. Okay, if I get this divorce, what's going to happen long term? Where am I going to go? What, what's going to happen to the kids? How are they going to be affected? See, all of this right here does not come into account. To women out there or men out there, before you file for divorce, think on it long term before you end the marriage for dumb reasons. All right, take care of yourself. Take care of others around you. And remember, don't let peer pressure do the judging and telling you your advice. Think on yourself. Think critically. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button and the uh, like button. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Cheers.